Hi, it's Sunday the 2nd of September and I'm down on the allotment out in the, the wind. A little bit of rain. And I'm going to be talking about Swiss chard. Traffic lights. And uh, that's... Not traffic lights, bright lights. So here's a few plants that we've had a few leaves off. And uh, this one's sort of green with pink stems and there's one there which is red with uh, slightly darker green stems and there's two sort of orangey yellowy ones with sort of slightly lighter green stem no leaves slightly lighter green leaves so here's a couple of rows that i planted about three weeks ago so that was the first week of august and i'm just about to plant them out now when I planted them on the packet it said there was about 80 seeds in the packet and I didn't think there were very many when I planted them out but to every one seed three plants comes up a bit like a beetroot it's a member of the beet family so maybe there was about 20 seeds and, uh, and they multiplied it by three for each one and there are a variety of colours but it's difficult to see them just at the moment There we go, I've dug a bit of ground, a little square there, don't want to go too mad. And now I'm just going to rake it down a bit uh, before I set those plants in. There we go, that's raked. I think I'll do two rows and I'll set them about a foot apart because they do get very big plants. I'm hoping they'll give us some greens during the winter. There we go, that's lifted about ten plants. So I've got two rows about five feet long, foot apart. 10 plants needed so a mixture of colours so I'll plant them alternate colours so I've transplanted those 11 it is and uh, tried to put them alternate colours it's mainly the stems which are uh, have the colours and the leaves are slightly different shades of green and in the gaps where I took those 11 out I've transplanted some more so there's another about 10 or 11 there and also at the other end of the row and another day i'll have to come down and clear these weeds out because they seem to take over but it's some very nice soil here on buckland newton allotments this is a sort of uh, a clay clay loam with you know quite sandy really not too heavy clay at all so um this is a very exciting plot of land here better soil than some parts so signing off and uh, look forward to doing the next video right bye for now